Perpetual Mommy here today to do a bag review for all of you. This is my beautiful Kipling Alvi convertible bag in the color Candy Red. And you guys, I was so excited when I found the Alvi in Candy Red because I had been eyeing, 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 eyeing their pouches and pieces, the Kipling pouches and pieces in the Snow Whites and the Seven Dwarfs collection. So if you guys are not aware, Kipling partnered with Disney to do the uh, Snow White and Seven Dwarfs 80th year collaboration collection and it is their pouches and pieces are so cute but anyway so I found the LV in the candy red and it matches perfectly the red you guys in the snow white and seven dwarf pieces that you're gonna see in here so this is now my snow white Kipling <laughs> LV so I've, I've dubbed it the snow white Kipling LV although the color is technically candied red and here what you're gonna see is I have attached a Mickey Mouse head charm and a little poison apple. So these are my Snow White charms just to kind of complete my Snow White bag. So if you haven't guessed it, here in our house we are Disney fanatics, absolute fanatics. And some of these collaborations, you guys, I drool over them, I love them. And so this just seemed like a perfect pairing. So let's go ahead and jump on into the bag, you guys. So let's talk about the outside the way that I normally do. And then we'll talk about the inside. So right here on the front, you do have a magnetic flap. Now, one of the nice things about this bag, you guys, is that there is no Velcro. I do not like Velcro, so I'm not a fan of the Velcro. So there is a nice little magnetic flap right here. And this is where I have some quick grab items, things I just want to be able to reach for really quick. Now, I do have a two-year-old and a three-year-old, so I want to make sure that I can grab a potty seat cover. So this is a public toilet seat cover just to grab it and go if one of them has to go potty really fast while we're out. And then... I usually have a pen in here, but my 23-year-old stole my pen the other day, and she hasn't given it back yet. I do have a lip gloss and another lip gloss. But this is a really nice pouch right down here. I really like it to just grab and go. And just like always, you guys, you have really nice Kipling zippers here. This is a really nice open pocket. There is no organization on the inside, so if you want organization, you do need to add it yourself. So sitting right here, you guys, I do have a mini Y pouch case. I got this from Amber at the Sensible Mama, and I love it. It is so cute. And in here, I do have the Huggies Natural uh, Antibacterial Wipes. They fit perfect in here. So the whole pack of 18 fit lovely in here. And my girls are just getting over being super duper sick. So I'm really good about making sure that we are wiping down surfaces, anything that's a communal thing that they may be touching while we're out in public. So this just works really, really great. And it's so cute. Look at the donuts. Super cute. And then right here, I do have my Jujube small set piece. This is in the blackout print, and this is what I'm using as my wallet, you guys. So in here, I do have an NCO coin purse. This is where I put cash and coins. There's a couple credit cards hanging out there. I do have a, a B charge, so Jujube B charge with insurance cards, and then another Jujube uh, B charged with credit cards. And then I also have a couple, you can tell I'm really freaked out about germs right now, you guys, with the flu season and the babies being sick. So I do have a couple of the Baby Gannix hand sanitizer wipes as well. Moving on to this side of the bag, there is a nice zippered pocket right here. And they're not insulated or anything like that because you guys remember this is not a diaper bag This is a regular convertible backpack that Kipling makes that I'm using as a diaper bag So in here I do have some hand products. So I do have a lotion And I have a CeraVe healing ointment. This is fantastic for super dry hands and for uh, nails and cuticles you guys love it I love the CeraVe products um, But wonderful And then I also have my Honest Company hand sanitizer. Turning the bag around to the other side. I do have some um, vitamin C drops, just we've all been really sick. And sometimes I just stick some really quick, like, you know, protein bars in here, something quick to grab out, some nuts to eat. Now on the back side of the bag, you guys, there is one big slip pocket. This is also a magnetic closure pocket. And what you're going to see here is there's some things sticking out. I did have these in the inside of the bag. They fit really great on the inside of the bag. But I really wanted to be able to just kind of grab and go, and I don't mind them like this. But what they are is this is some activities for the girls. So they're sticker books. They come with stickers. And then inside the sticker books, I just put in um, each girl has a booklet of plain white paper to do some free drawing. So I do have one in Minnie Mouse and one in Frozen. 
in here, same thing, you do have a booklet of plain white paper. So I always try to switch up kind of what drawing activities I have for the girls and then just some twistable crayons. We really like the Crayola twistable crayons, but these were like 99 cents, so I figured we'd give them a go. And again, this is a magnetic closure pocket, and it is a really nice expansive pocket. Now we did talk about how the, this is a convertible bag. Now what that means is this can be carried cross body, it can be carried over the shoulder, and it can be carried backpack style. So right now it is in backpack mode and it is on really nice swivel clips. These are heavy duty metal clips. They are fantastic. If you didn't want to carry this bag in backpack mode, you would just undo the straps. And then you undo the bottom down here. And then you just attach the other strap. So I'm trying not to lean across. Right here, just like this. And then down here, you guys, what you have is you have these middle tabs. This is where the bottom of the backpack strap hooked in. If you don't want to look at them, they tuck into these little pockets right here. So you can go from a backpack carry to a crossbody or an over-the-shoulder carry. And then you also have the two tote handles as well. Let's go ahead and move on to the main compartment of the bag. Again, one really nice smooth Kipling zipper right across the top. And I'm going to give you a shot of what the inside of the bag looks like before I unpack it at all. Now sitting right on top, one of the first things you're going to see is a custom set piece. And this is in the Jujubee Royal Envy print. And again, this is a custom piece. And in here I have some quick grab toys for my girls. My girls are loving you guys. Totally into animals. We go to the zoo and the wild animal park all the time. So Amazon was having a huge sale on their um, Playmobil animals. And you guys, the girls are just going nuts for the Playmobil animals. They are so cute. So this is what we've been keeping. There's even little babies. There's a giraffe baby and a tiger baby and a lion baby. So super cute. But that's what I've been keeping in there and they're right on top so that I can just grab them out. The girls get to pick two to hold while we're in the stroller or the car. Um, so working out great. And then this is what it looks like. So right here I have a Jujube medium set piece in the chrome print. And this is my restaurant essentials. I don't carry a whole lot for restaurants or for eating out with the girls because they're bigger now. But I do keep a toothbrush container full of straws. I have some table topper mats. I have some disposable bibs. And I have uh, three Baby Gannix hand wipes and three dapple wipes. Oh, and I want to show you guys. So again, this is the GGB medium set piece in the chrome print. And look at how great, you guys, the lining of the chrome matches the candy red and the Kipling. So pretty. Okay, also sitting right here on top, right here, I have my Mommy Essentials case. And this is literally just a soft little case that I picked up from Target for like a few bucks, like four bucks. I have some mommy makeup stuff here in the top section. And then in the lower section down here, I have uh, some flossers, and then I have a, a GGB coin purse and the Donatella Sweet Shop print, and this has migraine medication and some spare contacts in it. All right, so now you're going to start seeing the Kipling pieces that match so very well with the candy red Alvi bag. So right here on the side, I do have some snacks. So this is my snack tower for my girls. I have some yogurt chips, some puffs, and some Cheerios, and some goldfish crackers. And then also standing right along the side, right in here, I do have a Medi Buddy case. And in here I do have uh, two Mum Mums. These are actually not Mum Mums, these are the Happy Baby Teethers, but essentially a Mum Mum. All right, you guys, let's take a look in here so you can see the two Kipling pouches right there on the bottom. So pulling out right here, this is a Kipling Extra Large Creativity piece, and this is also in the candy red color. So I did not know that when I bought it because it doesn't tell you online what color red it is. And I just had my fingers crossed. The red would match the red in the Alvi, and when it came, when the sticker came, you guys, I was so excited because it actually said candied red. I was like, oh my gosh, it's the same red. I was so excited. But this is the Snow White and Seven Dwarves creativity pouch. 
and this is my diapering essentials. So you guys, I have a two-year-old and a three-year-old. The three-year-old has been completely potty trained for about a year. The two-year-old is potty trained for the most part, just not with poop. So we do keep a couple pull-ups with us. So I have two pull-ups in the main section, then in the zippered section right here. I usually keep some um, plastic baggies. I don't have any in there right now because we used them when we went to the zoo uh, the other day. I do have a, right here, a parasol wipes container. Parasol wipes are my favorite. And then I do have two more of the disposable potty seat covers for public potties. I have a small change pad, disposable change pad, and an extra large disposable change pad. Okay, so right here on the bottom, I believe this is called a Zodak. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is in the Alluring Apples print, and this is also the Snow White and Seven Doors collection bag. And you guys, look at the zipper pull on this one. It looks like an apple. So cute. I didn't even know that when I got it. I was so excited when I saw that. Super cute. So in here I have a change of clothes. Now because my girls are two and three, both of them usually don't need a change of clothes at the same time. So I do pack one change of clothes that will fit either girl. So here I have a uh, container of disposable baggies to put any wet clothes or anything that I may have in it. And then I keep a pair of socks for each girl, an extra set of socks. And then I keep one burp cloth, you guys. And this is because we're just getting over being sick. And it made me realize that you never know when runny noses are going to start. You never know when you're going to need something like this. So this is just a super soft burp cloth that I can use for the girls if I need to. And then again, one set of clothes, you guys, in case I need it for either baby. So I have a set of panties, a set of pants, and a top. But I want to show you the inside of this bag, you guys. It's really cute. So it has a nice big expanse. I fit all that in there. I could have actually fit two pairs of clothes in here if I wanted to. So if we were going somewhere where I thought the girls might get wet or might need a warmer change of clothes, I could pack uh, two sets of clothes in here. But there are these nice little slip pockets right here that are really cute. They're elasticized slip pockets, mesh slip pockets. Okay, so looking here in the bag, you do have one nice large slip pocket right here. And next to it, you have a slightly smaller slip pocket. And in here is where I'm keeping my mini med kit. Now, this is a Jujube small set piece in the chrome print. And in here, again, this is my mini med kit. So I have a nail clippers. I have a sunscreen stick. And then just kind of the normal things you would expect. I have a whole mess of Band-Aids. I have some Bacitracin. I have some alcohol prep wipes. I have um, some thermometer covers and then a thermometer and I don't I didn't used to carry a thermometer you guys but the girls just got, got over being very very sick and so I'm kind of monitoring to make sure their fevers do not come back and that all fit really nice in there okay, so here's a nice shot of the inside of the bag so the only compartment of the bag that we did not talk about is this nice zippered pocket right here along the back side so it is a nice expansive it's huge you guys zippered pocket I don't have anything in there right now but it's a great place to keep receipts or to keep gum anything you kind of want to keep away from your kids you don't want them to know this in there but this is a really nice large zippered pocket I'm gonna pull over the snow white collection bags you guys so you can see them again against the Alvi bag and how cute they are. So again, this is going to be my Snow White and the Seven Dwarves diaper bag. I have dubbed it that because I just adore it so much. So again, this is the extra large creativity pouch. And then this is the, and I believe you say this, Zadok, Z Zadok, and it's in the Alluring Apples, also in the Snow White collaboration. Now this strap that you're seeing right here does not come on the bag. This is part of one of my um, 12 little bags that I put on there. I just thought it matched really nice and looked really cute. And again, I added, I love this, you guys. I love the little red apple. Added the little red apple here. But that's my fun little Kipling Alvi Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs collaboration grouping. Well, that's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't already, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I hope you're all happy and healthy, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.